What's up guys? Uh, I'm basically going to record until my phone dies because it doesn't have very much battery left and I don't have time to plug it in because I need to go to bed because my sleep schedule is still fucked and I'm really really trying to fix it. It's not working out too swell but I'm gonna get up early tomorrow and then stay up all day and hope that I can fix it a little bit. Um, here comes a cat to see me. Uh, yeah, I um, didn't do a whole lot today, um, but I am sort of just, I don't know, I'm in a strange mood, as it were. It's a weird sort of mental state that I tend to get after I go to like a convention or something in terms of just like uh, wanting to do things creatively, especially like in the realm of video games, because that's always something that I've wanted to do. Um, and it really just like convention gets me into a particular mindset and a particular mood and it's like coming back home it's like hard to I guess carry that through um or even like continue to have it once you get home I don't know it's just like being in the same sort of headspace as you know all these people and being able to talk to people in the industry and being able to just like have conversations like that you know is something that I find a lot of value in um, and not something that I can really do the same way here um, I could probably find people to like talk to online and stuff but you know it's not the same when it's like that sort of like instantaneous like bouncing back and forth of ideas and just kind of like playing games, analyzing them, you know, talking about them with the people who made them, discussing that stuff, like, that's, like, I fucking love that, right? Like, that's probably, like, if you had to say, like, what's my, like, one most true passion for, like, games and stuff, it's, it's talking about the design of them, and it's talking about how the experience is for the player, you know, and, and how to make that better, and how to, you know, do all these things. Um, you know, to make great experiences and make great games. And, you know, I love, you know, trying to think about, you know, complex problems and how you would solve certain things and, you know, what makes play, you know, engaging and exciting and why, you know, how does player agency affect the play? And it's just, you know, I can obviously play games now and have those same sort of, you know, thoughts about them, but I don't have that open dialogue. And I feel like, you know, I'm such a, uh, a person who thrives on collaboration. Um, I don't uh, generally do, uh, despite the fact that I've done, you know, a hundred plus vlogs now, you know, I really enjoy um, the uh, collaboration aspect of teamwork, you know, and it's something that, you know, I feel like if you have an idea, someone else can make it better, you know, you might not be able to find that person, you might not even work with the person that can make it better, but, you know, no idea is fully formed right at the beginning, you know, you have to be able to uh, take a step back, you have to be able to look at it, you have to be able to think critically about it, and the best way to do that is by basically people, you know, tearing it apart, but in a good way, you know, you know, and that constructive criticism is always something that I really try to take to heart and look for, you know, in my own work. And so being able to sort of have that dialogue with someone else, you know, it's just, it's really uh, rewarding and engaging for me as both a player and a perspective designer. Um, and so I'm kind of in just like a, a, a post Paxtum depression uh, a little bit. Um, so it's just it's something kind of sitting on me, you know, and it's something that, so uh, yeah, I guess that will be the end of today's vlog because it's almost five minutes. I only have 5% left, so it's probably going to die soon. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow.